So you never guess where I've just been. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Turn it around a second. Yeah. Look at this. Ten pound notes. Four of them. Forty quid. All right. Drenched in more. Just purely soaked. Just like my jacket. You want to know why? It hasn't been raining. Well, it has been raining, but it wasn't raining that caused all this. You want to know what caused all this? You ever heard of a place called Drayton Manor? Well, my college took me there. With uh, the rest of the college. We all went. Not the entire college. Some of them, like, ditched out. <laughs> Wimps. But anyway. Let me just close this. <laughs> We've had to put that on because Mr. Over here hurt his legs. Didn't he? He hurt your legs, so he can't go upstairs no more. But, brilliant news on that. We've actually got five thousand pounds to do his hip replacement, and from that GoFundMe page that we're doing stuff, we haven't got it from there. But we've gone. Well, my mum went to a bank and got a loan, and they gave her the loan for five thousand pounds, and we've got to pay that off for the next five years, like one hundred and forty pound a month. So it's ridiculous. But we still have the GoFundMe page open, so if you want to donate to it, it would pretty much be the same thing, it'd be help paying back the money, so it's still the same thing, um, so there's always going to be links about it, and um, so yeah, so you know, just being a dream manor, it's a theme park, and you've got roller coasters and everything, and I went on pretty much everything, there's only a couple of rides I didn't get to go on, but we, didn't have, we had quite a while, but we didn't have too much time, it's a big place, so uh, Basically, if you type it up, I guess you can find a map or videos of each ride. So one of them is called the Shockwave roller coaster, huge stand-up roller coaster, it was brilliant. And that was the first thing I went on. It was a day. Then I went on one. What was it? I can't remember what I did next. I think it was like a pirate ship kind of thing, and it kind of swayed side to side like that, and you kept going really high. And we were on the like ends. So me and my mate that was on there, we were like on the ends, and um, that was fun. <clears throat> like really high so after that <clears throat> I went on what was it I can't remember what I went on the next after that but I don't know in order but there was a ride called G-Force which is a huge roller coaster it's like massive massive red roller coaster and it's literally got I think the highest rate of G-Force is G-Force of 6 so woo, that's fast but um, yeah that was fun like type all these up on YouTube there's like Shockwave I'm not sure what the pirate ship was called, but that's not one of the big rides. Shockwave. Um, now, Drayton Manor, Shockwave. And then, like, Drayton Manor, uh, G Force. Um, they were the two biggest roller coasters. They also have a Ben 10 roller coaster, which is a kid. Well, it's supposed to, it sounds like it's a kid's roller coaster, but it's not. You go all the way backwards at the start, you go up to this top, and then you just drop down really fast. There's, like, loads of spins and everything. And then you end up on, like, the top part on the other side. It's like a sprint kind of thing, so it's not a circuit. And then it gets to the end, and you're in the sky. And then all of a sudden, it pulls you back, and you end up doing the same thing, but backwards. And there was a little kid, and I'm not joking. He wouldn't have been any taller than this counter right now. Like, it was at least, like, three and a half foot. The kid was, like, two years old, going on this roller coaster or something. Well, not two. It was probably about, I'd say, four, maybe three. And he went on with his dad at the very front. I was at the very back because apparently the further back on that Ben 10 roller coaster you are, the better it is because it's got a massive, like, the G force on it is better at the back. Like, the gravitational pull, so. Wow. But, um, yeah, then there was. What was it? Uh, what's it called? Apocalypse. That's a 300 foot tower. I think it's 300 foot, something like that. 300 foot tower that goes all the way up and it drags you all the way up really slowly and then like it just drops straight down like it's not even the ride's not even on brakes as you're going down it's not the ride pulling you down they release the brakes so you're literally on the ride you're free falling there's nothing stopping you they literally take off the brakes on the ride as if they unclip it and you just fall and then like about that far away from the ground they put the brakes back on you just stop like that far away from the ground it's insane you're like three foot and it just stops so it kind of feels like you're gonna smash in on the ground, but it's wicked. <clears throat> uh, what else did I go on? There was some little rides I went on. Like my tutor, she wanted to go with loads of others, and I went on with my mate. We went on. It's like a roller coaster, but it was more for kids. But at the end of it, it went round twice. But at the end of it, like nearer to when it finished, and then you either went to the next one or you finished the whole ride. 
it went really fast through this like hill area like it was really low and there was like trees and hills everywhere and it went really fast for a kids roller coaster at that point and i didn't expect that like i think it was called the buffalo or something like that so again Drake manor the buffalo roller coaster uh, and there's probably people who've done like first person gopros for these so make sure you go on and type up apocalypse shockwave g-force uh the buffalo all of these you gotta see them then i went on one called i don't remember what it's called but there was two water themed ones oh, look at this it means big means don't know why i did that <clears throat> shout out for big means and um yeah it was like a i'm just stood in one spot i'm just stood in one spot but no, it was an, um, the first one I went on was like a log flume ride, but it was in like dinghy kind of boats. And um, I'm going to mute this TV. We were sat on them and the person at the back gets the most water, so obviously I went on the back. And it's like minus two degrees outside, by the way. It's not. It's supposed to be summer, but it's not. Oh. <laughs> that what you sit here for? I was that here being all comfortable and just, you come up here and you're all up on my ground. <laughs> Good boy. But yeah. Basically, I went on it, and the first drop isn't bad. Like it's literally at the start, it clips you on. You lift up from the back, and it darts you into the wall. But it's not that bad. You got a bit wet, and then you go around, and then it comes into this little shelter. Like you're going really slow at this point. It comes into this shelter, and it spins you round so that the back is facing forward, and then you go backwards. And obviously, I was in the back, and on the second one, the second like splash part. There's three splash parts. It comes up with like you get the most war so obviously i'm at the back at this point i'm like ah oh, crap and it just goes straight down into the water and i'm not even joking from when you sat down to the footwell it was up to my hips on the seat because it didn't drain out it was just staying in and I, it was literally like i was sitting in a pool of water in a paddling pool it was that high and it took forever to drain out and then there was the third splash which was like more fast and less of a splash like you just jolted down into the water and then there's a like a little bit of a splash but that also got you a bit wet so you know but it was insane and then the second one rider went on i didn't even get wet i was like a couple of drips that was all it was crap <laughs> but yeah i've had a really cool day i almost didn't go but i'm glad i did because it was fun there was also some other stuff like 3d yogi bear it wasn't the full film of yogi bear but it's like some of the clips and it was like 40 it's like, whoa, you had like things touching your legs underneath your seats. Like, it was 3D glasses, so everything was coming towards you. But like, if he went into the water or something, you get sprayed in the face with water. Or if he was falling from the sky, you get like wind coming out and everywhere. And it's just like, yeah, I'm sleeping. <laughs> but yeah. So it's been a good day. Had fun. And um, I never do it again. Also, went on some dodgems, which was awesome. And my teacher, well, not my teacher, my tutor, I'm pretty sure. She ended up with a broken rib cage from it. I think she busted a rib from the dodgems. One of the other students rammed into the side of her and she busted a rib. So, you know. But yeah, now I'm home. Wet through. I've had to walk from my college to the bus stop, which is like a 10 minute walk. And then I've had to go from the bus stop near where I live up to my house, which is another 10 minute walk. So I've been like 20 minutes in freezing cold water so my body temperature must have been about minus 10 the entire time because minus two outside and it was cold water and i've just been in soggy cotton clothes which is probably the worst material to wear so i hope you enjoyed watching this video <clears throat> and um yeah if i ever get gopros in the future and go again i'll use them on every ride and upload it as each ride so that'll be cool so hope you've enjoyed uh, this video make sure you click the subscribe button and i'll see you later peace